Hello, this is Oksana Alabama, Crazy Russian Mama. Uh, for those who don't know that here in Mobile we have um, theaters, sometimes I call them theatrical schools or schools for young actors where kids of all ages could uh, audition and get a role, big or small, in a play. And um, Danny, the director, and his wife Pam, they uh, make up to four performances, shows per year. Um, my son uh, was perform performing in one of them, it's about Frankenstein, and uh, I put it together for, for you, and hopefully uh, you enjoy it. And at the end of the video, you'll see uh, behind the scenes uh, what kind of uh, Halloween dinner they had, and uh, costumes, so uh, have fun. Bye. Так выглядит гримерка, так выглядит режиссер, так выглядит дом монстр, все они так. Is he all right? Yes. It appears Constable Mueller has no feel for the tying of the knot. <laughs> no, sir. Very well. Bring it just as quickly as you can. I must return to spend the evening with my family. How oh, nice for you, sir. Yes, it is. Be careful that you're not seen. Constable Mueller will be there for dinner. And the money, sir. It will be the same as always. But, sir, this one's so fresh and healthy. What you're doing hardly qualifies you to make demands. But it would appear, sir, that you must meet them. <coughs> I cannot be seen. We'll take care of you, sir. If you'll take care of us. Leave it in the usual spot. The money will be waiting. Quickly, go in there. Hello? Hello? Anyone here? What do you want here? Please excuse me, I've come a long way. My fell upon us and my driver found himself lost. We saw your light and we were hoping you could give us some direction. Yes, I'm working late tonight. Mr. Clevaux. Henry Clevaux. Mr. Clevaux. A convict's grave, you see. His hang is very dang. Best to describe him quick for the rock test, eh? Yes, I'm certain. You're not alone? Yes, sir. Just <laughs> the three of us. The three? Oh, I see. Please, my destination is the Castle of Frankenstein. I'm already quite late. The Castle of Frankenstein? Yes, do you know it? Uh, we've had occasion to go there. Are you a friend of the good Dr. Frankenstein? Yes, from the University of English Town. Uh, the, the castle, is it nearby? Uh, yes. Follow the road north to Bristol for perhaps two kilometers. Just walk to your right, take it to see the castle in the distance. Thank you. You've been of great service. Good night. Uh, Mr. Clevaux! Yes? Are you a religious man, sir? Why? I thought you might say a few words before we lay him down. I think not. But, sir, should any man go to heaven unannounced? Uh, I would have thought the smell alone should have forewarned him of his coming. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Good night. Good night, sir. Travel safely. <laughs> That's close to you. Get in the wrong direction, son. Of course I did. Hopefully, the delay him long enough now to finish up and be gone.
much to the man. And delivered to him her firstborn child in exchange for the secret of spinning straw and gold that he'd given her. Her only hope was to learn the little monster's name. What did she do? Well, she searched for a memory that she could think of. And just when she was about to give up all hope, she came upon a little house in the woods and saw the horrible little man singing and dancing around the fire. Today I'll bake in tomorrow's room, my dear. The day after that, the Queen's child shall be here. How lucky it is that no one knows my name is. That's not that. <laughs> well, you can imagine just how quiet she was when she heard the name. So the next day, when the monster finally appeared in the castle, at first she asked, Is your name Thomas? No. What is your name? Victor. No. What is it? Charles. That was that. The devil told me that. The devil told me that. And in his rage, he stamped his foot so hard that he sank into the ground up to his waist. Then he seized his other leg and tore himself asunder in a jungle. Victor. Yes, Mary. What does asunder mean? Asunder. It means he tore himself in half. Oh. Why did he do that? It's because he was angry about not getting what he wanted. Do you understand? Yes. I Good. Think so. Off with you now. It's time to go off. Oh. Come now, little sister. You know what they say about little girls who don't take their baths, don't you? What? Goblins and vampires come out in the middle of the night. Victor. They reach out slowly and they grab you and take you away. Take you away now. All right. Be good now. There are no such thing as monsters. Oh, no, of course there are. Come on, love. I should be up to hear your prayers and tuck you in. We'll go up and check the monster. <laughs> I wonder if it's been to a patch of humans tonight. You've been so abstracted and removed of late. I've only been in my workshop. Yes, but for all that we've seen of you, you might as well have been an eagle start. Is your work so secretive that it can't be shared with us? I will share one thing. My work would take me all the time if it weren't for you. For me? And why is that? Easily I find myself staring thoughtlessly into space, thinking of you, seeing your face. I would come and find you, but for the fact that my work does keep me very busy. Well, you're hardly busy now. No, I most certainly am not. <laughs> ah, here you are. Here they are down in the park. None too soon from the looks of things, eh? <laughs> What's Mary up to it? Well, yes, just seen as just seen to her. Wonderful girl. Doing quite a good job for my dear. Quite a good job. A mother as her soul would be well pleased. Well, thank you, Mary. Makes it quite easy. She had the greatest expectations when she first brought you into the family. Now I'm pleased to say that you've surpassed them all. Hey, Victor. Yes, I think that she has more than exceeded her expectations. Where the devil are they? They were just behind me when I left the dining room. Ah, here they are. Thought you might have tried to get away from me. You know what they say about old friends and beautiful wives. Lionel, behave yourself. The very thought that I'd dream of such a thing. Yes, yes. Victor, we have a surprise for you. What is it, Father? <laughs> Henry! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, whatever are you doing here? Oh, you know, I was simply passing by. Of course you were. <laughs> my, it is good to see you again. And you, my friend, it's been much more since I have last seen you. Oh, yes. Henry. Elizabeth! Oh, the beautiful Elizabeth. It has been much too long since I have last seen you. Well, yes, I must to tell you, Henry, so much has happened since yes, last year. Yes, there is much I wish to tell you too, Henry. My, it is good to see you again. <laughs> Henry, you told me you weren't expecting it. No, I was not. Henry, what the devil are you doing here? Well, I... <laughs> oh, you see how it is. We find he managed to persuade him away from his work for even a single night, and even stronger competition arrives. Competition indeed, you know. There were times this fall when it was all we could do to stop his... Unrelenting ravings on your ball. You embarrass me, sir. Yes, ravings indeed. I hardly spoke of you, Elizabeth. Victor, Satan never spoke back to Elizabeth. You should be ashamed. Well, occasionally. That is to say, often enough. Oh, well, give in, Victor. You only bind yourself more time with each and every word. <laughs> Ladies, may I offer you a little sherry? Yes, please. Style, more brandy. Yes, please. Excellent dinner, by the way, Alphonse. Wasn't it pretty? Yes. I thought the leg of lamb was especially excellent. But though I thought the potatoes used a bit more. Oh, thank you. Well, I hope you don't mind us leaving before you finish, but we had promised Mary a story. No, of course not. 
But I only wish I'd joined you sooner, for when these two begin to chatter, they say. I'll form tonight, chat. <sighs> Nonsense. We were only discussing the man we had to hang this afternoon. Buried him just before coming here to dinner. You. you buried him this afternoon? Well, yes, that is correct. Immediately after we'd cut him down. It was a funny thing. The knot had worked itself loose, so instead of his neck snapping cleanly as it should have, the old beggar just wound up slowly choking to death on his own tongue. Lionel, please, what do you do without all the grisly details? You tied the knot yourself, Constable. Yes, as a matter of fact, I did. Place it firmly, just below the skull. Lionel, please! Lionel! <laughs> Sorry. Henry, you have a right to go to the most fortunate part of it. Ladies, I ask you here tonight to be the first to know what everyone's mom suspects. Victor and Elizabeth are to be married. <laughs> oh! Much happiness, Elizabeth. Thank Congratulations you. to both of you. I'm so glad you finally decided. Thank you. You mustn't take my idea. You mustn't wait too long. He's not that kind of time to change his mind. <laughs> A toast. A toast to the House of Frankenstein. To the great joy of its father, to the loving memory of its mother, to the happiness of its children, and to the bright promise of its future, to the House of Frankenstein.
Well, Henry, since you persist on embarrassing me, I shall be forced to take my leave. Besides, I have promised Mary Ann to her in. I'm sure you two will be just fine without me. So how shall we survive when all the light is left to read? <laughs> well, there you see, he's managed to do it again after all. Good night. Good night, dear Elizabeth. And do not worry about your victim. I promise not to keep him up. Do not worry, Henry. I know I've been in the safest possible hands. Good night. Well, Henry, I'm waiting for an explanation. What do you mean? From those two men. Now, Henry, was the body very damaged? No. Victor, what are you doing? Your oath, Henry, to repeat nothing that I am going to tell you. You have it. Say it. I shall repeat nothing. I will not tell you, sir. Satisfied? Spare me your sarcasm, Henry. The only one who understands my fascination with the sciences. Yes, Victor, I'm well acquainted with your interest. Please, my friend, come to the point. Henry, I have reason to believe that I am capable of reanimating human life. This is the nature of your work. This is what consumes you. This ridiculous and age-old pursuit of eternal life. Not eternal life, but rather the Recreation of life. Perfect. Hear me out, Henry. Back in Ingolstadt, I learned the teachings of Bolos the Egyptian, the Moslem Jabir, Albert Magnus, Roger Bacon. <laughs> Alchemists, magicians, scientists, philosophers. Good God. Perhaps magicians. Regardless, I decided to study nature, to inquire into its secrets through its very structure. I saw how the fine form of man was wasted and degraded. I watched as the worm inherited the very wonders of the eye, and brain, and heart. I examined and analyzed every detail of the change from life to death, until finally, I succeeded in discovering the very cause of life itself. Really, Victor? Do you expect me to do <coughs> such nonsense? That and more. I expect you to help me in my project. In what way? What project? In the creation of life. In a man. You believe this? You actually believe this? I have in my laboratory the intelligent brain of one man and the healthy heart of another, kept alive by means of induction through chemicals so well beyond the week. Good lord. I have always been awaiting a proper vessel for which they are to be implanted, and that was just delivered to me tonight. The only struggle that remains is the completion of the surgery before the stomach reaches his feet, and in this you can help me. No, no, I will have no part in this. Think, Henry, think! To have control over life and death, perhaps to remove disease forever from the human frame, to ensure eternally the existence of the greatest mind. Do you aspire then to be a god? God? Yes. The thought had never even occurred to me. And what of the soul, Victor? The body is but the keeper of the soul, and death releases it to heaven. Yes, Henry, and prompters of this soul would have knowledge disregarded and truths pronounced miracles. <laughs> Mysteries were made to be solved, my friend, you taught me that. And well, honestly, Henry, I would have to see this soul before I could include it into my studies. I am no atheist, no blasphemer, merely a scientist desiring to understand the secrets of life, and therefore of God. Prometheus. What? Prometheus was punished by the gods for bringing fire down to man. Yes. Prometheus was a fool. The gods were jealous, greedy, and possessive. You actually believe you can do this? Yes. Well, look, Victor, even, even if I was to believe what you have said and thought you can achieve, I, I, I am overwhelmed. You know, the, I do believe you to be a good man. You are a brilliant scientist. You're capable of anything, and yet... I know. My God, it is fascinating. It's more than fascinating, my friend. It is true. Come with me. See the wonders of which I speak. Join me in this enterprise. If on further study you choose to disagree, well, that is up to you. But meanwhile, time is precious. Are you so certain, then, that I will join you? I have no doubt, Henry. No doubt at all. He was gone to Arachia, Prometheus. Well, my old friend, 
Perhaps together we shall release him. Victor, there is no basis for this procedure anywhere in the modern science. Yes, I know. Good. That to me is the great challenge of the science, though well beyond what any man has done before. And the flesh seems slightly rigid. It will be all right. Quickly, Henry! The storm is beginning to peak. Victor, what has the storm to do with all of this? It will flood the stream and bring the dynamo up to the necessary speed to give the machinery sufficient power to reinforce the charge which was around the body. Uh, I still don't understand. <laughs> there is an order to the life of things in the uh, chain of violent activity that can be animated by the proper means. If a minor shock could produce convulsive movement, then might not a greater shock produce continued animation? Yes, yes of course. Or? Or, or it carries your streets? With reactivated dormant heart? Who knows? Oh my god! Perhaps it is every man's god. Is it? it may be possible, or it just may be. Quickly, Henry, bring down the chains. <laughs>
especially your father. And believe me, this storm is nothing compared to what we can expect from him. Come, let us rejoice. Cold, my friend. Yeah. Come with me. 
Oh, no. It's, it's all right. Come along now. It's all right. This way. Sit down here and we'll warm you up. Sit down, I said. Don't you understand me? Come on, sit. <laughs> sit. <laughs> After all, it doesn't matter with your voice. Something happened to you. It's all right here. Let's 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 warm you up. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right here. Just yeah. No, stop, 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 stop. You're, you're doing it all wrong. You're doing it all wrong. Use this. It's a spoon. You want more? But I, uh, I suspect there's much more than you remember now. Sometimes to, to torment me. It can be so very, very cruel. Don't they see? Good. You don't understand anything I'm saying, do you? You will. I will teach you. But whatever the reason you found me, I am no longer alone. 
Alone. Oh, my friend, not alone. Whoever you are, you will become my student. My student and my friend. Friend. Yes, friend.
Stay with me. Be my friend. They said your name. They, they 
me. You heard me. Rob Metzen Schmidt, you, you must leave here for now. No. Tell me what you know. You must understand that there are others here, and if they should see you. Yes, I am mightily, but I am also strong. <laughs> Ask your questions in exchange. No. Tell me what you know. I, I thoughts I do not understand. You seek information. I shall tell you, but first I must know more. Please answer my questions. Do you understand? Now then, tell me everything you can about these men who saw you. <clears throat> Two men. Very soon I was dead. They heard me, and the others. Others saw you? Uh, yes, they scream and run in fear. Where did this happen? I am not as other men. I, I have thoughts I do not understand. The who hurt you? Yes. Tell me where this happened. I, I have paid. Here and answer me. And here, answer me. No, no. You must understand if you want information from me. I, I understand nothing. Uh, tell me what you know, and tell me now. Ask your questions. I have but one. Who are you to me? I am your creator. You, that is. Your body was at one time dead. Creator? Dead? Yes, I needed the materials for my work and that's... In the book of God. Adam. You know the Bible. Well, I know of the creation. You are my creation. Thus, you are my God. No! No, I am not God. You are my creation. Yes, but there is only one God, and I am not God. Did you did not create me? I do not have power over life and death. Did you then lie to me, Frankenstein? I did not lie to you. Oh, Bobby, you must have left him in the car. I'll find him. Listen quickly, God. you must hide yourself. <clears throat> Please hide yourself immediately or I will tell you nothing more. I will wait. Oh, Victor, here you are. Yes, it's a time for Mary's lesson. Mary and Justine are on a picnic. Picnic? Yes. Are you very angry? No, no, of course not. Good. Now, have you seen Father's glasses? <laughs> no, I have not. As a matter of fact, I was quite busy up here and forgotten about Mary's lesson. What's the matter, Victor? I know something's the matter. Something is the matter, Elizabeth, I swear. Elizabeth, I've been mocking this whole time. Victor, <laughs> hey, so why don't you come along with us? Where are you going? We're going to look for Mary and Justine. Well, why don't you come with us, Victor? The air will do you good. I'm afraid I can't now. Perhaps later, yes. I, I will finish here and join you later. Very well, my love, but don't be long. I promise. Oh, please. Don't be angry about Mary's lesson. No, oh, of course not. Goodbye. Creator. Leave. Now, I have told you what you wanted. No. There is more. I listened. She thought you were angry. What? You were afraid. Afraid she would see me. Yes, and what of that? You are by admission 
position. It is lovely. Thus I relieve you of my ugliness, for I am alone in a world of man where each and every one shall hate me. What are you? You, in change that, O oh, Creator, you, you must make another being such as I. No, my God, impossible! Am I then impossible? Uh, oh, make me happy, Creator, and, and the two of us will, will leave this world of men and be alone together forever. I cannot. You cannot. Refuse me this. I do refuse. Listen to me. I have hated and hunted and I have killed. You have killed? Yes. A child. I did not mean to, but she screamed like all the others. Well, what have you done? What have we done, O oh, Creator? No, no, I am not responsible for you. Will you give me what I ask? No! I will kill you and everything you've ever loved. Do you understand? Yes, yes, I will do as you demand. Tomorrow, then, we shall be here. Oh, and do not betray me, O oh, Creator, for we are bound by ties that can never be undone. Except by death. Much to ask of you, O oh, Creator. 
As any child asks of its parents. Enough! There is important work that must be done. I am to know more advice. I said enough! We have a bargain. I will keep it. But I am master here. Why this work? Because you have forced me to do it. No. Why me? Why did you create a being that even you turn away from in disgust? I have read your notes while staying here alone. I have read of incisions, of, of potions, of solutions, but yet I find nothing that will tell me why. I am most confused. You are damned. If I am damned, how damned are those who brought about my being? There will be no more talk. I want you out of my sight and out of the lives of those I love. I cannot be finished here soon enough to suit me, for then I will be rid of you and your despicable companion. Uh, I will hear no more of this. Or do you threaten me again? It grows so tiresome. We have a bargain. I will love it. Quickly, the storm is speaking. Throw down that level and I tell you. Now!
my hopes and dreams break inside. But listen now and remember. For I will be with you. Yes, yes. Uh, tell me what you need. I, I will help you. There you are. 
been looking all over for you. Just wandering where you went. There's something wrong. Yes, we have some things to talk about. Certain memories to overcome. Yes, I know. But we can't dwell in the melancholy past. Soon new and dear objects of affection shall be born. We place those who seem to prove you to pride. Yes, you're right, Father. The future is the only thing that matters now. Come, the two of you. I guess we're waiting. It's time. Oh, Victor, I need to go look out Thank you, I've got a lot. 
become the instruments of death.